Simple interest. The table shows the amount of a simple interest GIC over a period of 5 years. Calculate principle of this investment and rate of simple interest. So we have a couple of questions on finding out principle and the rate of interest given the amount. So here what we notice is that every year the amount increases and since it is a simple interest it has to increase by a constant number right and that is interest per year and from there we can find the simple interest rate right so let's find the first difference right so first difference is 918 minus 884 right how much is that so 918 minus 884 is 4 and then 11 3 34 let's again find the first difference at the end of third year and second year so it is 952 take away 918 so 952 take away 918 so from 12 if we take away 8 we get 4 and then from 4 if we take away 1 we again get 34 now from here it is very clear that 34 is the interest which is earned every year right so to find the principal that means what was the amount we started with right so what we can do is from 884 we can take away 34 to get the principal so we got 884 take away 34 so if we take away 34 from 884 we get 850 dollars so the answer for the first part is calculate principle of this investment so we can say well that means principal equals to dollar 850 now the second part is calculate rate of simple interest now as we can see simple interest is i which is p times r times time now interest is 34 dollars right so it is 34 dollars per year Principal amount is 850. Okay, 850. And we need to find R, the rate of interest. So from here, we can find rate of interest decimal value, which is R equals to 34 divided by 850, right? So let's use the calculator and figure it out. So it's 34 divided by 850. That gives us 0 0.04 so that's the decimal equivalent of the rate of interest and therefore we can say the rate of interest is 100 times 0 0.04 right so rate of interest equals to 0 0.04 times 100 and that is 4 percent per annum So that is how we can find rate of interest. So this constant, the first difference, is product of principal and rate of interest. So if we divide the first difference with the principal, we get rate of interest. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.